Let's get started on these holiday brownies. We already have 12 dozen of them already. Let's do something different. White chocolate peppermint eclairs. The residents of the nursing home love my brownies. Besides, I don't think they take too kindly to your fancy eclairs. Really, Mom? Really. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Welcome Mama, back play. to GMA3. That <laughs> clip, that was amazing for the brand new movie, Holiday Heritage. It premieres tomorrow night on Hallmark Channel. And joining us now is one of the stars of the film, Holly Robinson. Pete, Holly, good to see you. Yay! Good to have you. Wait, and, and, wait, before we yeah, jump in, ahead. I just have to say, you smell so good. I, I wish they could smell you. you That's like, what you want to hear when you walk on set. Forget the movie, she smells good. All right, this movie is absolutely amazing, and, and it's making history because it's one of the first movies celebrating both Kwanzaa and Christmas. Yeah. How did that happen? Well, I celebrated Kwanzaa as a little girl. It just really, the, it's, it's, it's a holiday, but it's not a religious holiday. It's about principles, and it's about um, ancestry and culture. And um, I celebrated as a young girl, but when I had kids, I wanted them to know about Kwanzaa. And I feel like, oh, there's my Kwanzaa kids. <laughs> <laughs> they're all grown now. I can't get them to put those outfits on anymore. But they, I feel like they're kind of cool humans because of mm. celebrating these principles, understanding their heritage, and I just love it. So when Hallmark Channel said, Holly, you want to be in this movie? I was like, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, because we celebrate Christmas Kwanzaa the seven days after Christmas leading up to New Year's Day, and New Year's Day happens to be my dad's birthday, so it's kind of a really cool time yeah. after yeah. all the gifts and stuff exactly. for Christmas. And well, proves that representation matters. Absolutely. Yes, it really does, and Hallmark Channel is walking that walk right now. I was I'm loving that's that. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. This is your 10th holiday movie with Hallmark. So you've been a big part of that change. You've seen it start yes. to finish and you've been a part of it. How does that feel to be such a big part of inclusion and diversity over at Hallmark? Well, you know, I've been doing this for a minute, right? So when I hear <laughs> people say they're going to be more inclusive and diverse, you don't always see it. Mm -hmm. So now we're really seeing the content. It's inclusive of everyone's holidays and their yeah, traditions. Yeah. And I, I'm so to proud to be on this network. Well, we are proud we of you yes, because as I was talking to my producer right before the show, I said, gosh, Holly and I have known each other for 10 years. You were always a big star, but now, my friend, you <laughs> have it on the whole Hollywood walk Bricks and mortar, as they say. <laughs> yeah. What, what was that whole so experience like? So surreal. I mean, so surreal, because when I was a little girl moving from Philly to L.A., I went to the Walk of Fame, and I remember looking at stars and mm -hmm. looking at for people that look like me, you know, black women, black actresses, and I didn't really see any. There were some, but not many, and I thought, wow, that's okay, and cut to, like, almost 50 years later, <laughs> there I am. It was actually so cool, and Magic Johnson and LeVar Burton presented mm -hmm. me, and those Aww. are two people who have meant so much to me in my life, and I've known LeVar since I was 11 years old. So it was a great moment for my family, for, for it was quite surreal. And you know what, that is a big deal. So uh, you said that you had dreamt of you know, one day having your own star there right. because you didn't see many. What's your advice to little girls who look like you who are watching right now? Oh my gosh, keep dreaming, you know, keep dreaming. And whether it's a star in the Hollywood Boulevard or going to college or getting that job, just, just keep, stay very focused on your dreams. I have kids and they're never impressed by anything. Were your kids at least impressed? Like mom <laughs> finally has a star be. in the walk of fame. They actually were impressed. Yes. It's funny, like they're impressed by the craziest things. They're more impressed that I'm gonna be in like the second season of the Proud Family. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. After all like, the work you've mom, done, right? Yeah. They're like they're from Jump Street Cooper, they don't care. They're just like, you're gonna be in the Proud Family? Like, yes, yes. So anyway, um, yeah, they were. And Good. they were it, very emotional that day. I was Aww. surprised and it was great. I got to give them all their flowers as well. All right. All right. Well, the best of luck to you. Keep Congrats. doing your thing. Thank You're you proud so of you. Much. We are so proud. Thank, Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.